I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is common themes of the Industrial Revolution. Now, the Industrial Revolution is such an important time period that I'm going to have to do a couple of videos. So today's is going to focus in on how we got there. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a dot and from that dot we're going to draw a wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, up, connect, put a curved line up, back on the right, curve line up, back on the left. Starting here on the left, straight line, curve line, straight line, up, connect, come on the left, curve line down, up, connect, on the right, curve line down, up, connect. Come back to the left, draw a curve line, one dot, two dots, come up and draw one dot, two dots again. Next to that, put a dot, draw a circle, put a dot, draw another circle. Inside the baby circle, one dot, two dots, right above, one dot, two dots. Curve line up, out, in, connect on the right, curve line up, out, in, connect on the left. What is this? This is livestock. Okay, livestock. And that is because wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line, wavy, wavy line. Come over here at the bottom, put one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines. Come down here, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one more, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines, one, two curved lines. Now draw a slightly wavy line and we're just going to draw wavy, wavy line connect, wavy, wavy line connect, wavy line connect, wavy line connect, wavy line connect, wavy line connect. Wavy line connect straight lines in between all of these wavy wavy line connects. Okay, so we had a livestock, we were grow, uh, having livestock be part of the agriculture life that we used to have in our country. But then the Industrial Revolution starts, put a straight line in a triangle, and now all of a sudden wavy line Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Little straight line, little straight line, straight line, down, connect. Come up to the top, zigzag, zigzag, and over here on the right, big curve line, dot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Zigzag, zigzag on the outside, Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, little straight lines going across. So we went from be, being an agriculture based society, curve line, curve line, curve line, to a factory, factories based society. We still had farms, we still had livestock, but the emphasis during the Industrial Revolution was factories and water was very important. We'll talk about that in a minute. Now come down below and put a number two. And now we're going to put a dot, curve line down on the left, curve line down on the right. Straight line across. One, two, three straight lines. Come inside one, two, three straight lines and draw an X. Come above, one, two, three, four straight lines, draw a little straight line inside. Right next to it, let's draw a curve line, straight line connect, 
straight line, straight line, straight line, up, connect, curve line, curve line, curve line. We're going to draw a big curve line up and around. And now we're going to put little straight lines going across. So some places in the United States still had the family farm. And people still had that going on for money and success. And this would be called rural living. Okay? It was country farms, country farms, usually family farms, and plantations. And that's the one you're going to have to focus on, plantations. Because you could not have had the Industrial Revolution without a lot of free labor to do work on the plantations. But while the family farm was still important, draw a wavy line up or curve line over, triangle at the end. Now all of a sudden people were going to, let's put a straight line, people were going to the cities to get work, to find work. So there were still people who were working on the family farm, but there was a lot more people going into the cities, little straight lines, little straight lines, into the cities trying to find work. Little straight lines all the way across because it was a close environment. And because it was so early in time, there were not a lot of people looking out for other people. So this is rural, put a wavy line around that. This is urban, okay, city living. Put a squiggle around that. And the urban living were, were cities, tenements, that's when you would crowd five families into one apartment, and slums, places that were not conducive to healthy living. Okay, so a lot of people went from the farms to the cities and had a rude awakening. All right, what did this all mean? It meant that in order for everything, you're going to draw a circle, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line, dot, dot, curve line, straight line, curve line on the left, curve line on the right. Big curve line up, over, and connect. The only way, oh, little wavy line, little wavy line. The only way that all of this was able to happen was because they either had free labor or cheap labor. You know, if you don't have to pay somebody to do your crops, you can keep all of the money for yourself. And that was King Cotton, is what they used to call the cotton plantations. There were the sugar plantations. And then there was the coal mines. Okay, coal mines. So, they used enslaved people for a lot of this. And as long as they had that going on, they didn't have to pay wages. They didn't have to put out any money. Then, for a lot of these other things, they use children. Draw a circle, straight line, curve line, straight line up. One, two, little curve line. Wavy, 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 wavy. On the other side, look for a little boy. You, straight line, curve line, straight line, little curve line out, in, straight lines going across. If you were a child of six or seven years old, curve line, you could be put to work. They would have little kids in the looms, which is the manufacturing of materials. They would put them out in the fields to tend the fields. And they would put them in the coal mines. Hello? And again, free, cheap labor. They didn't pay them anything. Plus, a lot of little kids lost their arms and legs and all kinds of horrible, horrible um, accidents because there were no rules against that. Now if you have room right over here, here's the other group they did this to. Draw me a circle. Straight line, curve line, straight line up. Little curve line. 
left, right, and I'm just going to zigzag, zigzag, dot, dot, curve line, straight lines. The other group that we're taking advantage of were immigrants. Immigrants. So they would come over from Italy and Ireland and all of those places and would immediately go up to the cities or the tenements to find work and they weren't paid anything either. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, I'm going to take my brown and I'm going to do my cow. Okay, so that's my cow. Then I'm going to take my pink and do my pig. Now these are family farm animals. This isn't the big slaughterhouses. Those come later. This is just I have a pig, I have a cow, I take care of my family. Now take green and the same thing goes with the farms. One farmer would do a family garden and maybe sell corn. But it was on a very small scale, not like it is now. Industrial is the way it is now. But the most important product was cotton. So you just draw a little bit of green here and leave those wibble wobbles white. Because once we have Eli Whitney figure out, figuring out how to do the uh, cotton gin, all of a sudden cotton became king. That's why they called it that. If you have gray, color in your factory gray because that's pretty much the way it was. Now come down here and we're going to do our grain silo and our barn red and I'm going to color my triangles red so you can see how they move. Okay, get a gray. If you don't have gray you can use black or brown lightly and color in your tenements your slums, your cities. They would put like five families in one room. You couldn't breathe hardly. It was really bad. Then my enslaved people. I'm going to do this brown. This lady. And like I said, if you don't have to pay anybody any money to do all that work, you get to keep all the profit. Well, this is part of the reason why we had the Civil War. We're still feeling the repercussions even today. I'm going to give her a red bandana. Okay, and the kids. Here you have little six, seven, eight year olds. As long as you could stand up, they would put in like 15 hour days. And because they were working in dangerous, I'm going to do apricot and a little brown hair. Because they were working in dangerous manufacturing factories, you know, they'd get caught in a loom and lose a finger. Or they'd get caught in a coal mine and be blown up really bad. So like I said, they would be in the looms. Those are big, big manufacturing machines to make cloth. The coal mines, they would actually put them in coal mines. Can you imagine a seven-year-old being in a coal mine? Then the other people that they would take advantage of were the immigrants. Italians. Irish. Chinese. Everybody. You would come to the cities, not have a job. You'd have to do something to make money. So you went into the mines, the fields, the coal mines, the manufacturing. These are all part of the Industrial Revolution. So we went from an agricultural format all the way over to factories. But free and cheap labor is the whole basis of all of it because that's how you made money. All right, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my common themes of the Industrial Revolution, all colored in. This is part one. We'll probably have to do a couple of more because transportation was involved and new inventions. Okay, bye-bye.